When I'm learning about antennas in the possibility of setting up these antennas in weird locations or maybe out in the field, nothing is better than a guide with a lot of great illustrations. A guide that would be designed to teach practical skills all while providing detail images that make complicated things a lot less complicated. Easy to understand, if you will. And you could go spend hours rounding up online at different resources all this information, but why would you when it's all in one place? And it's free. Absolutely free. This book is actually a handbook, and it's been around way longer than even I have been around. So let's put down those BCGs, because today we're going to talk about the Army Field Handbook. Hey everybody, I don't know why I keep calling it the Army Field Manual, when it's more of a Department of Defense Field Manual. But I also wanted to point out that today I will also link in the comments below not only the Army Field Manual, but the United States Marine Corps Field Antenna Handbook and other resources for military-style handbooks for antennas. And why I think that you should go download it for free. Oh boy, uh, yeah, I really need these back. The Army Field Manual is not just about theories and fundamentals and make you fall asleep, but instead it's packed with real world scenarios and how you might overcome them from less than ideal conditions to set up an antenna to adapting when you don't have all the right tools to make an antenna. Because let's face it, there are times when you're going to want to make longer distance communications, and then there's going to be times where you want to make a shorter distance communications. And a lot of that has to do with the sky wave or maybe even the ground wave propagation. Now this handbook, it breaks down very simple, deployable and effective field antennas, anything from a quarter wavelength antenna all the way to a sloper or a slant antenna to an improvised dipole. Not only is this antenna handbook very practical for emergency situations, but it also pairs well with things like parks on the air, summits on the air, and any other portable operation you might consider. Not to mention just having the knowledge of how to adapt to situations and environments. This handbook teaches you things like how to utilize and use environmental variables to your advantage, everything from mountains to urban environments. And you'll even learn how different frequencies are affected by different propagation conditions and different conditions altogether and where maybe you want to place your antenna for the most ideal performance. We like simple. The Army did simple. If you had a vertical antenna, much like uh, the DX Commander, did you know that you could utilize another vertical antenna to help direct the signal of your antenna? Reflector, director, all that stuff is mentioned in the Army Handbook, although they don't say the DX Commander. And it's all laid out in a way that's super easy to understand. Other antennas include fan dipoles or multi-band doublets, normal half-wave dipoles, inverted V dipoles, inverted L antennas, sloping V antennas, sloping antenna wires. Why ham radio dude is always wrong. Expedient insulators that you might find in the field, like bottle caps and glass. And even references to other branches, field manuals, and information that might be very useful for communications. When you're in the military, you are trained to do a lot of different instructions, but you are also taught to think outside the box and learn to adapt to your environment as well as your surroundings. We call these tools and we put them in a toolbox. This handbook provides really good instruction on those tools we might use out in the field when we're looking to adapt to things in a durable manner. A reliable antenna with very common materials will be way more effective than a unreliable antenna with the best materials in the world. I stole that one from my buddy Soren the Swede, kind of. So I feel that for the low, low price of free 99, the Army Field Handbook for Antennas, it's a great resource for survivalists, preppers, amateur radio operators, or anybody who might just be pursuing a little bit more knowledge and understanding. I will link this handbook in the comments below, and I really do hope that it's beneficial and useful for you. Let me know in the comments, have you ever utilized any of these army field antennas? Have you ever built one? And did you find it practical? Thanks for watching the channel. Hope you have a good one. I hope this resource is very helpful to you, 73.